Assalamu alaikum. Dear viewers, welcome back again. Um, we rush to you again. Please do call in. I'll give you the number again. It's in the screen. You can see the number there. It's 0207 0405. Please do call on and take your part as well. So we were just talking about art and culture. Why is it so important? And if it's not, it doesn't go with you, it doesn't matter. But make sure you call us and tell us with you. Um, before we go to um, Sue again. I always want to start with you. <laughs> Can I go to Nahid Bay? Nahid Bay, oh, you know, th there's a big market for art. It's a digital world now. So for our young people, where can they link up to go into that world? Yeah, that's a good question, actually. I'm at the generation, new generation. If you could mix it with English. Yeah, of course, I'll, I'll try to my best. Uh, but because nowadays, you have a lot of opportunities. Uh, for your career, because now now the young boys they are uh, very conscious about their career, so that's the reason they're trying to find out the right path for their future career. So <coughs> uh, you're talking about the arts and culture, especially arts. Uh, the definition of arts is cover a lot of things. Not only that, you know, the uh, drawing something on a paper, it does cover uh, um, designing, it does cover, you know, the <coughs> all the media activities, it does cover a lot of things. Even if you go back to the, you know, the, uh, those, the, you know, uh, Muslim world, you see all those mosques, they have a lot of arts in the mosque. Mm -hmm. All the calligraphies, even in Kaaba, you see the main, the block, uh, the main house of Allah, is cover a lot of uh, Arabic calligraphy. And uh, <coughs> that, that's, the, that's a lot of things happening in Islamic world. If you go to Turkey, if you go to Iran, you see hundreds, thousands of Islamic, you know, arts. So the thing is, because there is a, uh, actually, Islamic, onek, uh, onek how onek do you define Islamic? What do you Islamic means, uh, Isla that's a good question, actually, in Sakbai, because the normal art and Islamic art, there is a, there's a little bit we need to know about the difference of both art, actually. Because in Islamic art, Islamic art, uh, we believe that uh, the, <coughs> the, 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 uh, the, the Allah is own, Allah is one. Okay, because we can't mix anything else. Like those, you're talking about those, like for him, uh, you know, the murti sculpture, those things. Because actually, Islam doesn't support those things. Because in the previously, before Islam came in this world, people used to pray them, in it? like uh, they're they're worshiping the them. Okay. That's why it's little bit, you know, this 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 is a, this is a big question. The you know the Islam Islamic art and the uh, you know the general okay. art in the world because Islam doesn't. I'm not saying that we should not be part of it. That we murti banan or khetra. That Western world is all jagay. Protector Rastar Muri. I'm like that murti boy. Even that our Bangladesh is that hot. Even the border border. The leader that there is murti banan. No, but it is that. What is that? The fact is that. Nu alai salam shoma nu alai salam er pore hoy unar je ummo thera store 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 nu alai salam ke chinta korar pore unar kintu hoy chobi ta hoy banate shuru pore chobi potom e thara art. Amra jodi manush korlam na. Mano kono manush to shobai kore na. Let's go to like mano 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 kono mano kono design of the building. Yeah, of course. Can I? Can I? Sorry, sorry. Can I just say this? Sorry, so I'm taking your time. I'm really sorry for that. Ami mano kori je ta haya bolen je. Uh, Islam discourage Korea and the kitchen kitchen paper, nudity paper. Uh, nudity, Islam doesn't allow it it's for many reasons. We, I don't it's have the old religion yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and, and making sculpture and uh, you know, making uh, someone's image that, that's a different issue. But at the same time, Islam does encourage us to um, promote things like you know, d uh, uh, doing like uh, Sister Shimu does, a landscape. Uh, it's, it's a you actually, in a way, you're praising God, the creator who created that beautiful thing. So it's, it's always encouraged in Islam, I would say. Not only this, if, if we look into the archite architectural um, the design in, in, in different mosques, even if I was to give an example of Persian mosques, Iranian mosques, and all that, you'll mm -hmm. see it's so precisely, uh, mathematically, uh, geometrically correct and accurate everything. So I would say, um, I slightly disagree with brother here, this Islam not really, uh, I would say, um, discourage um, us, but in a way, there is a guideline, very fine guideline. Yes, it is encouraged. Um, obviously, if there is something doesn't look, say, say nudity and uh, uh, things like this, um, it is. It might not be Islamic, but everything else which you is good is Islamic. 
But to, um, I uh, wish to add another thing. Sorry, you know, sorry, it's a matter of uh, research as well. Nowadays, research uh, Islamic uh, scholars are researching on the Islamic civilization about the arts and everything. So I, I had a very good um, read about it, a book um, of Muajim Beg. Uh, he were, he's a, he, he died a few years back and he was a very renowned scholar. Uh, he uh, did his research and PhD from Cambridge University on fine arts, fine arts in Islamic uh, civilization. So the book uh, of Mojem Beg, I read it and I read it twice because it's a very intriguing question about you know whether the sculpture and you know figurative art is allowed in Islamic uh, you know, uh, artists, whether it's allowed or not, it's a very big question, and mm -hmm. it's uh, hammering everyone uh, who who are interested from the Muslim culture. So, mm, uh, according to Muad Jembek, uh, according to his study, uh, definitely nudity is a very different thing, and uh, we definitely we are not promoting that. We we are not allowing ourselves even, and I myself never painted something mm -hmm. uh, figurative, um, although. Um, uh, reading the book of Mojim Beg, uh, it was um, he, you know, digged within the Islamic uh, civilization, and he he found out that um, after after uh, many years of uh, Prophet, um, you know, the Prophet won Makkah, yeah, then uh, in one moment. Uh, he went to a house. It's uh, written in the book. Um, sorry about that. I I cannot um, do the reference. Give the reference. So he went to a home, and there was a picture of uh, uh, of someone hanging on the wall, and he was still at the at the home. He, uh, the and the homeowner he uh, he invited him. He was there. He fed him and everything, and he didn't talk about the. Uh, art on the wall, mm -hmm. and Mojim, according to Mojim Beg, he said that because it's many years after the uh, after Prophet uh, one Mecca and everything, so mm, he didn't uh, talk about the art. That means he he had a you know silence and he had a uh, what can I say, um, you know he didn't think he didn't. Uh, thought that it is bad now because mm -hmm. people are not worshipping the, um, you know, sculpture anymore. So, so I mean, okay, that's fine. Um, I always make your <laughs> name say it wrongly. I think, okay, these are the uh, big debates. Yeah, in, yeah, in yeah the, this is a the big debate, world. so, so there's no we better right. avoid it. So, it's fine. There isn't much no in Islam, actually. Yeah. So if we don't start with no, you can't do this, you can't do it. There's a lot of things you can do, millions of things you exactly. can do. Exactly. This, this is the point I tried to There's make. There's not a problem. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. we start yeah. with no, to go into that, yeah. then we'll discourage our young people. Exactly. That's I think you but could we can't do yeah. things yeah. we shouldn't do. That. You could look at the Christian no. faith, you could look at the Jewish faith, and you could look at the Muslim faith, and you could pick out all of the ways in which they've stifled art, mm -hmm. criticized art, made rules for art. Nobody is without fault, yeah. and the debates go on mm -hmm. in every single faith. Or you can say, look at the ways in which each of these faiths have created not just beautiful paintings, but sculpture and frankly food, which, mm -hmm. you know, and perfume. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and to me, that's what art is for. It is both the best of being human and a way to connect. Exactly. And it is a way for faiths to connect. And you know, you were talking. The, your, your very first one was about. Well, yours was about the centrality of God, mm -hmm. and your your first word was praising God. Yeah. And the the 150th Psalm, um, Oh, praise God in His holiness. Praise Him in the firmament of His power. Praise Him in His mm -hmm. noble acts. And it's just this marvelous kind of ten verses that finish the Psalms. And it is just about seeing God in everything and praising God in everything. And it unites all three faiths because it's uh, it's yeah. David. It's the and Psalms very, of David. Very good point. I just like to add. Uh, we, we through this um, so way is very. It's a very common platform for all faith. And I, I'm, yeah. I'm sure it, it it could it could work as a very strong weapon to um, engage all of. We c we c could be multi faith. Uh, platform, yeah. You know, I as you were just saying, praising God to one God and 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 uh, announcing oneness of that God, 
um, it's very common for all, all yeah. those faiths. And uh, this way, if we look into this way, it's always encouraging. I would Can say. I go to Sula? You want to say something very okay. really urgent? Yeah. Yes, I want to say that actually, uh, what I'm saying, actu actually, Islam, Islam did not, uh, you know, the demotivated for the, you know the art and thing is. My point of view is there is a guidelines mm -hmm. because there is a guidelines. About this guidelines only not for the Islam, other religion they also follow. Mm -hmm. No deep, no, uh, no deep yeah. art. This thing is even Christianism, even in Jewish. Yeah. No no one like that one so that's the thing is because now in the western world more secularism more liberalism those things affected again there's a conflict between the religion this this is the problem and my point of view if we are in, in the within guidelines that's all right mm -hmm. but you can't you know you can't cross the guidelines my point of view i think you misunderstand yeah, sure, sure. you know, because yeah. because we have to follow because the uh, the thing is i'm just a banglai bolbo je islam kono shomoy kushanskar ke apnar bishwash kore na islam jeta bishwash kore islam ekta sarbojonin dharmo ebong allah rasul jeta ni ashen eta shobar islam is for the humanity not only for the muslim we thought muslim <laughs> islam is only for muslim no islam is for the whole humanity even in islam he said if you kill one human being is is equal to you kill the whole humanity Mm. So you need to understand. So your thing is whatever you are, you know, that you are drawing or uh, you know, uh, try to do something is for the for whole humanity. Exactly. You're not doing only for the Muslim. So my oh. point of view, we follow the thing is, and if we follow Islam, Islam, Islam is nothing different. Islam doesn't have something uh, like a conservative. Islam have a more thing is, but mm. you need to understand mm. how can adjust because the thing is, uh, especially the the oneness is the very important thing is because if you go back to the you know the subcontinent and other part of the world because they made the thing is murti by their hand there were hundreds of murti and they preferred them because Islam is forbidden that one is a, is, a, is a fundamental question because the few question we can't you know we can't make any kind of a concession because this fundamental mm -hmm. point we have to avoid that one it's mm -hmm. my point of view as a you know yeah definitely I appreciate okay. that you know uh, yeah, just to wa one one thing just to add you know but when they are like in Indian subcontinent, Hindus they make the sculpture of the, um, you know, yeah, uh, I mean, I think the we, god. We keep the religion as, as yeah, as, as their yeah, thing the, the god. They, they they very particularly they make it and they worship it, worship it. But you know, when you are just uh, hanging around somewhere and you see a sculpture, you are definitely not gonna pray that. Mm -hmm. We are not going to worship that sculpture within the road or any I think corner this is of the building. A big that's a, that's a, a very important thing. However, I think that um, we need to focus on the purpose uh, of art, uh, the main purpose that we are we are we are expressing our views, uh, like the painting I painted about uh, Palestine. I'm expressing my mm -hmm. concern about the Palestinian movement. So this is art as mm -hmm. well. And uh, as long as we want to, you know, okay. encourage young people, we need to talk about art and we need to, um, you know, spread our arts, what we are doing mm -hmm. uh, in a positive way. Okay. And that time young people will be interested. And one thing I would like to say to the viewers as well because you know nowadays parents are not that much uh, interested to promote their children uh, and they are not interested to you know uh, like they want their children to go to a madrasa definitely this is a very important thing but are they don't want their children to send to some artist mm -hmm. where they can learn art as well but actual so reason actual reason is like we have a uh, different views different that's good mm -hmm. yeah. good to have a broad thinking yeah. and it's fine so if we, you know, <laughs> the reason that people are watching now, so yeah. they will be confused in some sense, saying, yeah. okay, am I allowed to do this? Am I not allowed to do this? Yeah. Am I allowed, what should I do? So people don't mm -hmm. do anything. Mm -hmm. So that's a good period, you know, part of the uh, discussion is, yes, you can't do these things, the nude and whatever mm -hmm. affects other people, but yeah. you can do the rest of them, everything else is fine. Yeah, Long as is is Islam doesn't say haram, is everything is haram. Yeah. You know, that's quite can, I, can I comment thing. on this? Um, can I just ask the viewers? Sure. The viewers I was asking you to, if you could call us, um, I'll give you the number again, 0207-096-0405. Um, I was going to go to... Sue. Sure, sure, please. please. Oh, I've been yeah. taking uh, Sue's time always. Sorry oh, thank you. Again. Um, Sue, sure. uh, you know, uh, you stuck me when, you, when I had you read Quran. You mm -hmm. said this is the miracle of miracle. Mm -hmm. This is not a normal book. Mm -hmm. That's what when people read it, even Muslim read it, they mm -hmm. find it difficult to understand. Mm -hmm. but it's not like a book like there's the beginning, there's the middle, no. there's the end. It goes like in, in a circle. Mm. And it's like, the, the reason is, we say, is God's talking to you. Mm. So when you talk to somebody, you don't stick to 
beginning to end. It gives you something and keeps mm. you engaged. Mm. That's why it's in the cycle. Lots so of stories. Mm. In a time of now, when we look at the media, mm. you know, the headlines are Muslim the extreme, Muslim the terrorists, ISIS, Al Qaeda, mm. all these things, very, very negative mm. stuff going on. And how did you manage to find the Quran and with the whole Quran? It's amazing. Well, it was, it, I, I like to read what I call one very serious book every month. And often it's, it's Western philosophy, just one of the big men. Because I think, you know, they are, you, could, you can be told what to think or you can just spend nine pounds on Amazon and read one of the big men and see what he thinks mm -hmm. about the world. And um, at that time, I can't remember which particular story it was, but you could, I could feel the world dividing. And when, when, when the world divides into this is right and this is wrong, mm -hmm. I feel angry, I feel powerless, and I want to do something that doesn't involve sitting on one side or the other. And, and I, one of the things I felt very strongly was I didn't understand the Muslim faith. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know where to start. And then I thought, well, you know, their major text is sitting there for nine pounds on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Read it, because that's, that's where it starts. Um, and I came to it without any thought of what it would be like, except that having read a lot of the Old Testament, I thought it would be full of rules. I was expecting rules, you know this. Um, Leviticus um, is full of rules. I was expect and and the the Muslim faith was presented as a set of rules mm -hmm. yeah, by the media. True. So that's I was true. expecting a long Leviticus, really. And as you say, within about fifty pages, it's well, I'm lost. There's no there's no d there's no d dominant narrative. There's no beginning. There's no end. Um, and actually, I found the same with Galileo quite recently. You d and then at that point, I think you have to kind of lie back and let the text come wow. to you and not start, not, and stop trying to put it into, it's like this, it's like that, it's like the other. And, and what it was most like was the Song of Songs, which I wasn't expecting at all. Um, and it was a lot like the Psalms themselves. They had, they'd had that melody, it had that poetry. But what I wasn't expecting was um, a very nuanced debate about modern issues like divorce. Because there's nothing in the Bible. There's two or three lines that just say it's wrong and you're out. It's almost like giving someone giving you advice. So we say yeah. there's a whole advice. Sort of they work on it and work on it and work on it. What's right, what's wrong. And you, you don't get a sense of rules, but what you do get is a sense of a faith that's willing to engage with the issue which I hadn't found with a Christian faith. I found it was a kind of, if you're divorced, then you're out there. We have no text for you. We have no argument for you. With the Muslim faith, I found lots of things I did agree with, lots of things I didn't agree mm -hmm. with, but there was an engagement. And that was very powerful for me at that particular, particular time. I was going to ask you, regarding there's a surah called Surah Nisa, the woman, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. you know. Um, maybe in some cases true. Somewhere in Muslim world, women have been degraded, looking As down. As they have been by the places. Christians. Like in the Philippines, yeah. they have not yeah. studied, they're not educated people, then just, they don't know the religion, they're mm. probably doing that. That's in all, all cases, in, in all, in all, all the faiths. Yeah. yeah. But especially in Quran, it talks about women. I know you read it, so does it give you a feeling of, you know, God's talking about, talk to them with the really respectful and trying to give them something positive? How did it come to you? Again, you know, it, like reading all of the major faiths, they're written in a particular culture. And that, that comes through, and some of it seems very foreign mm -hmm. to a woman living in 2016. Um, so I, again, I had to sort of kind of let the, the text speak to me. And, and again, it wasn't that I agreed with everything that was said, but that the issues were more widely debated. And I th actually think the Old Testament is better than the New for what it, you know, you've got, You've got a more diverse set of women. You've got Rachel, you've got um, Bathsheba, um, but you have you have some fierce women there. Whereas the the, old, the New Testament, there's really just Mary and Martha, and and not. And I found the Quran much more helpful, like the Old Testament, in the sense of giving different models, different perspectives, different ways, different arguments. Not necessarily all the answers, but different arguments. Yeah. One thing is sharing. about the Quran is that it's telling you stories. Yeah. And behind the stories, you need to find out uh, whatever you want for, for yourself. And 
by the stories God is conversating with you look this has happened to Suleiman this has happened mm -hmm. to uh, uh, Jesus and this has happened to Moses and you have to be careful about this mm -hmm. don't do it otherwise what happened will ha will be happened to you I think this is the most amazing thing of the Quran and as I'm not native of uh, Arabic. Um, I tr I basically I read the translation most of the time. I try to uh, know what is written exactly because when I'm reciting in Arabic, then I'm not understanding what's uh, written. Though I believe that I sh I should learn Arabic as soon as possible to understand it in Arabic. But um, like in this Ramadan, I finished reading the whole Quran and I finished listening to as well. So. And then when I was listening to it every day, in every, you know, uh, Ram Ramadan days, then I was just, it was amazing that uh, God is conversating with me and he is telling mm. me stories and he is giving me the clues that, see, this has happened and you have to be careful. Be careful, be cautious that if you do it, you will be punished. Fantastic. Can I go to... Uh, yeah. Yes. Sure. I want to add something with Sue. Uh, actually, that's a good thing, uh, you know, uh, we read Quran uh, with the translation. But most of the time, um, if you read only Quran, you can't understand Islam properly. It's my point of view. Yeah. If you want to understand Quran, you need to read uh, the, you know, the um, Sirah, the life of Prophet, yeah. and mm -hmm. the different, you know, the Sunnah, the practice of Prophet. Yeah. Because, as, a, as for example, in Quran, Allah said, Aqimus mm -hmm. uh, Salah. Try to stop this okay. salah. We just got okay. a call now. Assalamu alaikum, caller. Hello, assalamu alaikum. I'm here with you. Tell me what you want to say. Yes, sister, you're live on the studio. Yeah, go ahead, please. I'm here with you. Tell me what you want to say. I'm here with you. 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 I'm here with Babi, Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Thanks for calling, Mommy. Jai, Dapna ke dekhte. Oh. Okay, Afi Taikin Shimi kintu aske khobi ta korbe. So Afi Taikin kintu. Inshallah. Babi, Aushi thakbe. Babi, Nottingham theke call korle. So, namra koi din aage unar kintu ek gurelam. Really happy to have you here. Ebang, amar dekhe khub bhalo lagche. Ebang, Ashle. मानी <laughs> 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 Thank you.